Today I am going to show you how to light the pilot light on your state select water heater. There are many reasons why your water heater pilot light may go out, but if it happens often you should have a licensed professional diagnose your unit. Before attempting to light your water heater pilot, it is very important to read all of the safety warnings that can be found on the unit itself or in the manual. If safe operating conditions are not followed, an explosion may result causing property damage, injury, or even death. Once you have verified the conditions are safe, you can begin. First, familiarize yourself with the components on your water heater control box located on the front of your unit. There is a thermostat knob, which controls the temperature of the water inside the unit. There is a gas control knob, which has three settings, off, pilot lighting, and on, which controls the flow of gas from the line. And there's also an electric ignition switch, which actually lights the pilot. Now, you are ready to light your pilot. First, find the thermostat knob and turn it clockwise all the way to the right until it stops. You should see the words pilot lighting in the position where the dial stops. Next, locate the gas control knob. Turn this knob clockwise until the arrow on the knob is aligned with the word pilot on the metal casing below it. Now, push the knob down about a quarter of an inch and continue turning clockwise until it is in the off position. You will not be able to turn the knob all the way to the off position without depressing it about a quarter of an inch once it hits the pilot position. Now wait 10 minutes. This gives time for any gas that is gathered underneath the unit to dissipate. After 10 minutes, sniff around the unit. If you smell gas around the base or anywhere near the unit, Stop what you're doing and contact a professional or your local gas company. Follow the instructions on the unit. If you do not smell gas, the next step is to remove the metal cover on the base of the unit. Squeeze it gently and pull to remove it. Underneath you will see a small glass viewing window. You will need to situate yourself so that you can see through this window and still have access to the gas control knob and the ignition switch. Next, turn the gas control knob counterclockwise until the arrow is pointing at the word pilot. Push the knob all the way down and hold it there. While holding the knob down and looking through the glass window at the base of the unit, press the ignition switch about once per second until the pilot is ignited. You will hear a click with each press. You can do this up to 30 seconds. If the pilot does not light within 30 seconds, stop, turn the gas control knob back to the off position, Wait another 10 minutes and try again. If the pilot does light, continue to hold the gas control knob for another 20 to 30 seconds. The pilot should stay lit. Replace the metal cover at the base of the unit by squeezing gently, pushing into position, and releasing. Almost done. Now. Turn the gas control knob counterclockwise all the way to the left until it stops. Finally, set your thermostat to the desired temperature by turning it counterclockwise. Remember, if you set it too high, hot water coming out of your faucets may burn you. You're all done. If you continue to have problems with the pilot going out on your water heater, contact a heating specialist. You may have a bigger issue going on.